whenever you pray you're simply having an ongoing conversation with God because prayer ni nini maombi ni mazungumzo baina yetu na nani na Mungu remember this God hatujamuona si ndio unaweza sema nimeona jirani yangu whoever i'm seated next to nimemuona si ndio but we've not seen God tunamsikia tu si ndio and we feel him so how do we communicate to God through what through prayer you have a family to take care of you have so many responsibilities until sometimes we forget to pray you want to pray but kitu inakugonga tu kwa akili eh inafaa ni kweni nimeenda kazini eh kuna pesa nahitaji and how will you get this money if you do not pray praise god So there are some three things nataka tutilie manani zinatuweka karibu na Mungu. Praise God. These are tools that helps us in pursuing a lifestyle of prayer. Number one, a guided prayer. A guided prayer. A guided prayer is the prayer, the Lord's prayer. Si tunaijua sisi wote. That is a guided prayer. So a guided prayer Is that a prayer yenye tulifundishwa na tukaambiwa kwamba this is how you should be praying. Ni sawa sawa. Unaweza kuosa kuomba kupitia maneno yale lakini it guides us whenever we are praying. Number two, you should be having a list of prayer items. Every time you want to pray, you want to tell God something kuna mahitaji but you don't know what to pray for, si ndio? Have a list of the things you want to do what to pray for. Number three, have a prayer reminder. Si ndio? Unaweza sema nitamka saa tisa niyo. Saa tisa itafika by the time you're waking up it is already six. Si ndio? Then unasema nilikuwa niombe saa sa tisa lakini saa hii ni six. Niombe kweli? Ah ah. Nimechelewa. Wacha nifanye nini? Have a prayer reminder. Praise God. Eh set to sema at this time I need to pray at this time so Alam ikilia you rush. Si ndio? Sometimes you want to talk to God and you don't know what to say. Si ndio? Sema tu asante Mungu, thank you Jesus, you're wonderful, you're great. And slowly and slowly as you repeat the words, you keep on getting some words to to talk to God. Praise God. So, upon that, it was just an introduction part of it. We have a six step guide to prayer these are steps that will lead us in praying praise god and we are going to use the lord's prayer matthew chapter 6 from verse 9 to 13 tutaomba maombi hayo lakini tutaenda step by step as we understand kila mstari una maana gani what does verse 9 say after this manner therefore pray our father who is in heaven hallowed be your name praise god so we don't just pray because tumaambiwa tuombe we first need to understand kila mstari unamaanisha nini praise god so verse 9 our father who is in heaven hallowed be your name it tells us this is the time that we need to refocus on god praise god this is a point where you need to refocus on god ndio umeanza kuomba praise god And before you pray you need to do what reflect on God. That's why we are being told our Father who is in heaven hallowed be your name. Praise God. And you can keep on repeating this line our Father who is in heaven hallowed be your name. You repeat and repeat and repeat as you praise God in your own words. As you pray as you repeat in your inner mind you need to focus and hear God's character that comes into your mind. Sometimes you will feel that the Holy Spirit somehow ana anashuka. Praise God. Yes. So, while praying, you need to refocus on God, our Father who is in heaven. This is a verse. If you pray in your own words, you'll be praising God. Mungu wetu uliye mbinguni, jina lako litukuzwe. Jina lako linuliwe. Jina lako liabudiwe. Praise God and you go on saying that umetu umetenda mambo maku ambayo mwanadamu hawezi kufanya nini kueleza you're praising God 
Praise God. Na hapo awali nilikuwa nimekuambia you don't start praying by asking God to provide food on your table. You start by doing what? Praising God. You're reconnecting to God. Remember we are not seeing this God but you're feeling him, isn't it? For you to feel God, you need to reconnect first by praising him. Praise God. Na hiyo inaleta Mungu karibu na wewe na inakuwa rahisi kwake kukusikiza. Praise God. Number two, You need to realign your will. Na hiyo tunaipata katika verse 10 of Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Praise God. May your will be done. Si tunapenda kusema all the time unasikia tu mtu anasema may your will be done. Si ndio? Do unto me as you want. Praise God. Nitumie jinsi upendavyo. Sindio. So you tell God that I surrender my life unto you. Nimejitolea kwako, nitumie. Nitumie kama chombo. Chombo cha kukutukuza, chombo cha kulisifu jina lako. Praise God. Sometimes you are told eh, tunataka utupatie a word of encouragement na unaambia Mungu yaondoe maneno yaliyo yangu, nipe yaliyo yako yani may your will be done praise god so you need to realign your will with god praise god as you realign your will naambia mungu let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven is like you're now connecting yourself to god you want god to use you praise god umekubali kwamba wacha mungu anitumie kama ni kwa uimbaji wacha anitumie niimbe nyimbo ambazo zitabariki Niimbe nyimbo ambazo zitainua mioyo na zitafanya mioyo ifanye nini iokoke. Praise God. In this verse again we are seeking God's kingdom. Praise God. When you align your will with God, with God's will, you are actively seeking his kingdom. Praise God. Yes. Yes, may your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven and sometimes when we pray you need to be in a quiet place sometimes unaweza kuwa mahali you want to pray and the environment does not allow you to pray for god to show himself you need to be in a quiet place because sometimes he might be speaking to you how to askiza na kuambia nini praise god so you pray while focusing ukisikiza anasema nini Number three, you need to release your concerns now. It is the time for releasing your concerns. After refocusing on God, after realigning your will to God, umeshakubali sasa Mungu akutumie jinsi yapendavyo, si ndio? Sasa ni wakati wako wa kumwambia unahitaji mahitaji yako sasa. And that's why we said you need to have a list of prayer items things that you need God to do for you. Umeshamsifu ya kutosha au umemwambia chochote ulikuwa unataka kumwambia. Sasa amefika na anataka kufanya nini? Kukusikiza. Kusikia chochote ambacho unafanya nini? Unamwambia. One by one, unamwambia unataka nini? And there's a time pastor yetu alikuwa anatuambia kila wakati as you pray, kama ni pesa unaombea, have a budget of what you you want. Si ndio? Au utamwambia tunahitaji pesa pesa ya kufanya nini so whatever you need see pesa peke yake if anything if you if you have something that you need in your life you want god to do mwambie unahitaji kitu hicho kwa nini be specific and to what you want so if you give god a budget of all the things you need and why you need them inafanya na anakujibu kwa haraka and sometimes god's answers are yes or no and wait praise god you might be praying for a car right now na mungu aone aisi wakati mzuri wa kupatia huyu gari si ndio there is some channels nataka nimpitishe kwanza so that i qualify kupata hiyo gari si ndio because if you if god blesses you with a car right now as you want maybe utakuwa mmoja wa wale wanaingianga kwa gari na mali kuna mitaro maji unapita ukisplashia watu Una splash splash then unaacha watu wakifanya nini 
wamekasirika, si ndio? Wanaanza kulaani hiyo gari na ni baraka ambayo Mungu amekupatia, si ndio? Maybe at this point unajua blessings they come step by step and God blesses at the appointed time. Praise God. So if truly it is this car that you need, first of all lazima ujue kuendesha gari, si ndio? Lazima uangalie the kind of income you have will you afford this car sindio because it's very expensive to have a, a car servicing this car all the time you need to manage it sindio so if mungu kama atakupatia baraka he has to make sure that you will be able to manage this blessing you're not prepared to handle 1.5 million you're not psychologically prepared because again the kind of income you've been getting Hai kidogo ukipata hata kanika 10,000 ka 20,000 kidogo unaweza zirai si ndio so now if you get 1.5 million tutakupata Kenyatta because excitement itakuwa juu moyo utashtuka uta faint na unaingia into coma tena hiyo pesa inarudi kufanya nini kulipa bill ya hospitali si ndio so sometimes hata kupatia just immediately whatever you need praise god he has to lazima akupitishe katika channel ambayo itakufikisha kwa whatever blessing that you want and the channel ni nini kuna majaribu mengi tunapitianga si ndio so if you need money hii pesa utasaidia kufanya nini hii pesa because it is a blessing of god wacha itumike kubariki watu si ndio uenda iwe ni kanisani kwenye familia yako isigeuke ikawa ni laana sasa si ndio isikue ni laana kwa maisha yako praise god eh hey, usipate pesa sasa ndio unaanza kuona he mimi sijaiona vile klabu ina inakaanga let me go there i just want to see the arrangement because i have money hey how does this be a test like i want to do what to test sasa hapo ni baraka potovu baraka ambayo inakuingiza katika dhambi that is not what god sio sio kitu ambayo Mungu anataka juu ya maisha yetu praise god yes so upon having a budget of whatever you want you list each and everything that you need and speak to god unamwambia moja kwa moja na vile ambavyo unataka ibariki maisha yako na maisha ya ambao ya wale ambao wanakuzunguka praise god then while listing down your your concerns to god unaweza ishi hapo vile ambavyo unataka Take whatever time that you need as long as you want. Praise God until you make sure that at least you've mentioned each and every concern that you have to God. Praise God. Number four, repent and respond. Praise God. Uwezi kwa unaambianga Mungu ni bariki na we mwenyewe uwezi bariki watu. You ask something a blessing yenye unajua this blessing will help me to bless other people praise god as you repent and respond hiyo tunaipata katika Matthew chapter 6 verse 12 and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors so you need to tell god forgive me si ndio and sometimes tunakosea mungu na hatujui kwamba tumefanya nini tumemkosea kumbuka ya kwamba unaweza kosea mungu kwa njia mingi kwa kuongea tu Whatever you speak unamkasirisha Mungu si ndio na unamkasirishaje Mungu it's just simple God told us to love our neighbor si ndio you cannot love someone that you don't see na yule ambaye unamuona hapo haumpendi si ndio in the same way uwezi sema kwamba um haujamkosea Mungu in hali yule ambaye umeketi karibu na yeye already umemkosea Praise God. Moyo wa mwanadamu unapokasirika na wewe ambaye umemkosea, then Mungu pia amekasirika na wewe. Praise God. God is not happy when tunakosea wenzetu. Then wengine maybe tunafanya kimaksudi, si ndio? Unataka kuona tu kile atafanya reaction. And hiyo reaction atakupatia kama ni ya kukasirisha, then you are happy kwa sababu amefanya nini? Amekasirika. God is not happy with you. Praise God. Sometimes tunafanya mistakes zenye hatujui. 
So unaambia Mungu nisamee kwa dhambi zangu zile ambazo ninajua na ambazo sifanyi nini sizijui. Si ndio? Yes, unaweza mkasirisha mtu. Unatembea tu kwa barabara kidogo unamkanyaga mtu and you do not know mtu umemwacha kama amefanya nini? Amekasirika, si ndio? Sometimes umemkanyaga and you know and you will never say sorry. For you to kufanya huu mtu asikasirishke, what do you say? I'm sorry. Si ndio? Akitulia then know that you've made peace with God. Praise God. You need to repent. And there are some things that we hold on to. Kuna wakati tulikasirishwa, tukakasirika, tukaweka grudge, si ndio? Hiyo grudge pia ni dhambi. And remember when you want to serve God, hata kama ni hapa tu kwa madhabao, you cannot serve God truly if you have a grudge in you. Si ndio? How do you feel when you stand here alafu unaona mtu mwenye alikukosea hapo pale na ulisema sitawahi msamee? Na uko hapa unamhudumia. Are you doing justice to yourself? You're not doing justice, ndio? So hiyo inatuleta kwa jambo gani? Kwamba ukikosea mwenzako ama mwenzako akikukosea try to make peace. Si ndio? Yes. So that ikifika wakati wa kumshukuru Mungu, kumwabudu Mungu hata kama ni mbele ya umati, you'll also be doing justice to the congregation. Praise God. Um tumelearn kwamba hiyo kuweka tu grudge, vitu ambazo unasema sitawahi samee, you still holding to all of them. It's a sin. So you need to tell God akuondole. Praise God. So as you tell God akuondole, that's the time you're responding. God invites us to come as we are. It doesn't matter whatever sins you've done. It doesn't matter the level at which you are in. Si ndio? Mungu anasikiza yeyote ule. Uo umefanya dhambi gani? Na tunaambiwa kwamba hakuna dhambi ndogo mbele ya Bwana. Hakuna dhambi kubwa mbele ya Bwana. Dhambi zote ni sawa. Si ndio? Unaweza kuwa umekosea Mungu and you feel like I'm not Um, siruhusiwi kusimama na ku mbele ya Mungu na ku, kuomba ama kufanya jambo lolote but you need to come as you are praise god kuja jinsi ulivyo and god is ready to receive you wholeheartedly praise god eh, god is not like a human being who will slap you and remind you of the things you've done god is not a, like a human being who will always keep a list of the wrong doings he does not do that he tells us to forgive 77 times sindio so if he can tell you to be forgiving 77 times ebu imagine 77 times and times and times sindio it means you need to forgive and forget sindio but into our human weakness sometimes you do not forget it is not easy but forgetting is a process praise god for you to forget something you don't need to be talking about the same thing the same thing over and over again sindio it's just a way that mtu alikosea na umtaki kabisa utaki unataka kumsahau what do you do hata kama ni namba yake you do what you delete from your phone sindio hata kama ni picha yake uko nayo you delete for you to forget this person sindio just in the same way if you need to forget kama ulikosewa forget forgive and do what and forget do not talk about the same thing over and over again because the same things ukiendelea kufikiria they'll come back to you and hurt you more and more praise god and you're hurted more and more you cannot deliver in terms of serving god praise god and you need to learn this god does not forgive a heart that never forgives praise god you need to forgive fast for you to be forgiven by god because if you do not forgive you're already sinning against god sindio so you need to forgive fast for you to do what to be forgiven na hiyo iko verse 14 iko verse 14 nasema for if you forgive men their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you forgive no men their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses praise god 
Yaani ni kama kile ambacho unafanyia mtu then pia utafanyiwa wewe. Praise God. Yes. Okay. Number five. Uh, request God's protection. Number five of our prayer it says request God's protection. Na hiyo iko katika Matthew chapter 6 verse 13. Request for God's protection and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil each and every time you know you're always protected sindio and because you're always protected do not just assume you're always protected each and every day before utoke uende kule unaenda if you're going to work if you're going to church if you're going in whichever place you're going to because the devil wana kufuatanga tu hapa kwa ha mtu ambaye hatumikiwi na Mungu shetani hata waimsumbua Hawezi sumbuliwa na shetani. Lakini wewe ambaye unafuatilia Mungu hapa kwa hapa, the devil will always follow you, si So we need always to pray all the time that God should lead us not into temptation, that God should send his angels to always protect us, to always give us security. Because ni wengi sana wanatumianga magari huko nje, si ndio? Na wengine wakienda huwa hawafanyi nini? Hawarudi. Praise God. Unaweza kuwa hujapanda gari anyway. Unaweza kuwa tu unatembea kwa barabara. Kuna mtu aliniambia yeye, <laughs> napendangi kupanda gari. Nikamuuliza kwa nini upendi kupanda gari? This is what he told me. Wewe unaona vile watu wanapandanga gari vile ma accidents huwa zinafanyika huku nje. So si for me to protect myself, let me just be walking. Hajui kwamba hata anaweza kuwa anatembea na pikipiki ama baisikeli ama gari yenyewe ikapita na yeye. Si ndio? Eh hey, dereva anaweza lose control na atoke tu kwa barabara na aku hata mkokoteni. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so whether you're walking ama unatumia tu gari. hata kama uko kwa nyumba an accident inaweza fanyika tu kwa nyumba, si ndio? So many things do happen and the devil is always cunning, si ndio? Anaweza kukuambia ai kwani lazima uende kanisa na hii. Hii weather vile ni mbaya hivi. Kaa tu kwa nyumba kwa nyumba unajua ukienda church utanyeshewa si nguvu zako ni nguvu za nani za Mungu si ndio because hata siku moja akikasirika naweza mua gonganishe magari zote zifanye nini akikasirika si ndio lakini god will never reach that level unless tuwe tumemkasirisha kabisa praise god yes so we need to be praying to god knowing that this god yeye tu ndio Mungu anapeana nini uhai si ndio kuna kuna mtu alitutolea testimony siku moja alisema kulikuwa na revival kanisani na alikuwa anategemewa sana kanisani then hiyo siku akaamua siende ilikuwa ilikuwa kesha yes it was a kesha akaamua hiyo siku asifanye nini asiende lakini kitu ikamtoa kwa nyumba akatembea tu alikuwa hiyo area baba dogo akitembea kuna ukuta huu side kuna ukuta hii side kuna barabara katikati mapikipiki zinapita magari zinapi zinapita all of a sudden hajui malichupa ilitoka ilitoka tu ikavuka ukuta ikamgonga ki kichwa hakukuwa anaenda church alikuwa ameamua siende church lakini anataka tu kufanya nini kutembea kidogo that is how alipata accident alikuwa ameenda kanisani hakuenda church but hiyo siku angeamua tu acha leo niende church hiyo chupa ingemgonga kweli So sometimes Mungu huwa anaongea and we do not have sometimes the ears to listen and the eyes the inner eyes to see. Praise God. So we need also to pray to God that in each and every day whatever happens wacha tupatie macho ya ndani na fikra za ndani. Si fikra kama za mwanadamu, fikra za kiungo. Praise God. So that we may see and understand things that happen that God might be speaking to us praise god that is just a way of telling him umekataa kwenda church saa hii kuniabudu na unapita hapa si ndio this is just a punishment that i will give you praise god amen so um as you request god's protection also pray for other people si ndio 
Now this is the time you pray for your family members. This is the time you pray for your friends, for your fellow brethren, for your colleagues at work, and each and every person that you know in your life. Praise God. Yes, so remember also, as you pray for yourself, also pray for other people. Praise God. Yes, remember that. Even when situations seem hopeless, there is nothing God cannot do. Praise God. Yes. And that leads us to number six, which is the final one. And it says, rejoice and reflect. Cindy, after releasing your concerns to God, after repenting, after requesting for God's security upon your life and your, your, and your family and friends, you need now to rejoice and reflect on to God. Ukishaomba pia, usimaliza tuna unasimama unanza shugli, give God some time to speak. Praise God. Yes. So you need to celebrate God. Na hiyo, itunaipata katika verse 13, the last part. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. Eh, uombi tuna unafika katikati unasema maombi meishi apapana. You need to complete the prayer and say amen. Na usisimame tu saido. Sit down and be calm. Be quiet unto God and listen to what God, to what God is saying. Praise God. Amen. Kifikia pale, tutasema kwamba, we've prayed according to the, to, the, uh, to the will of God and according to how God, Jesus Christ taught us. Praise God. And we've prayed according to Matthew chapter 6 from verse 9 to 13. Kabla nifunge, kuna kitu nataka kuwasomea hapa. And it's something that you need to, it's like uh, the word, the quote, is it the quote or the word of the day? When we start to pray like Jesus did, we will start to experience intimacy with God like Jesus did. And when we let prayer shape the way we live, we start to realize that we can approach God of all time at all times with confidence, vulnerability and trust. Praise God. And you need to know this not all times you have problems is the time you want to pray to God. Ata wakati ambapo ukona raha, you need to be praying to God. Praise God. Because prayer is the only way we communicate to God. We are connected to God. So imagine you do not pray. And you, we are told that you need to be praying each and every day to, be con to continue closing the gap between us and God. You know, in the beginning when Adam and Eve were there, sindio? Kuna makosa walifanya. Na hiyo makosa iliwatupa mbali sana na mungu. Before that mistake, they were close to God. They could communicate to God like this. Sindio? But now, okati ambapo unafika wamefanya makosa, mungu wakawarusha mbali. Now, because they sinned, we are told that we have sinned too. Sindio? Now, the, the gap between God and us it is very wide. It is very wide. Na hauwezi vuka tuwe tunatembea. Kuna kishimo katikati. Sindio? So, for this ishimo yanze kukuja ju until ikue just a flat space that you can just walk confidently, you need to be praying. Praise God. Prayer is the only thing that will itafanya hii gap. Inafanya ikifanya nini? Iki reduce. Sindio? And you don't pray, alafu kifika hapo inje unafanya vitu ambavyo, have you stahili. Sindio? Make sure your life, you're living a life, a straight life. Sindio? Make sure you're living a life that God wants you to live. As you do what? As you pray. Praise God. And if you do that, the gap between God and us, in a reduce each and every day. Praise God until you reach a time that you'll be communicating to God. Now, Sindio, takuwa una communicate na mungu wana kusikiza. You converse now. You're in a meeting with God. Unaongea na nakusikiza and he responds immediately. Praise God. Thank you for your time and God bless you.